On the rep prior to that, we have Matt. Uh, I, I got some slow mo video of that. And, yes. And, and you remember two reps ago. How did he look on that one? Uh, be, co comparing the the two wickets. Yeah. So the f the first one, his comment was he was having a hard time getting down. Yeah. And so so a very common compensation in, instead of pu pushing down to keeping uh, shin perpendicular is is you'll get this little steering out or in. Yeah. To to buy some time to get over the over the hurdle. Oh, uh, interesting. So it's it's like a compensation, so you can actually do it. Yes. I didn't know that. So it, it becomes something that's an easy thing to, to watch for. Good, Chris. It's, it's easy to watch for that. Oh, nice. um, sure. Sorry. Yeah, yeah absolutely. The, the, so, yeah, I feel like I didn't answer one of your questions. Uh, well, oh, so, Matt. So, 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 yeah, so, so Matt, he had so, this... so he, had, he was kind of kind of splaying out. I don't know if that's a term that's a great. That's a great way to say it, like splaying out. So there's that, it's a, and it's a compensatory movement the body's problem solving how it's going to do what you're asking that and and, and 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 that's the term i was looking for is that is that your body can problem solve how to how to get over, over those those wickets exactly but 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 then on on rep two which we got in slow motion yep. he was able able to do it correctly yes and so then he at this point because he's done it enough he knows okay if i'm doing that if i feel like that then i need to what do I need to figure out? He's been cued enough to know he, he needs to focus on, on stepping down and not getting, not getting floaty or letting the leg get out too far in front of him. Uh, because then if that happens, he's slowing down. And if he's slowing down, he's not bringing enough speed. And then he's got to compensate to clear the hurdle. So if he's, if he's getting, getting over the hurdle and good vertical force production, he's going to have nice flight time to not have to get in good positions to get down to the next all right so 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 one more question so yeah. everybody watching that would say that's what sprinter not everybody some distance coaches will say that's what sprinters need to do mechanically but why is that important for a high school girl running the 3200 because if you can if you can be really good at putting force in the ground whether you're a 100 meter runner or a 3200 meter high school girl you're gonna go faster yeah that's so we just we're practicing putting force into the ground. Now, 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 now you coach people.